What's going on? My name is Roman. Welcome to Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum. Now, on today's episode, I'm bringing you a little bit of a throwback. This is an older figure. This is the Justice League DC Collectibles line, and this is Shazam. Now, we all know what happened with Shazam and Captain Marvel. Here's the deal. Quick rundown. Um, the character used to be called Captain Marvel, uh, the world's mightiest mortal. And then the copyrights ran out on that name, and Marvel scooped up the rights on the name. DC scooped up the rights on the person. So, uh, you know, DC had the person, Captain Marvel, for a while, and once it ran out, uh, Marvel trademarked it, or they copyrighted it, or whatever the legal term is. And DC decided to go with the name that is basically Shazam's trigger word, Shazam. So, Shazam, uh, from DC Comics Justice League line. Now, right now, they're doing a DC Icons line, and the DC Icons Shazam was actually canceled. So this is the Shazam that we have. Uh, I love me some Shazam. He's one of my favorite obscure DC characters, or it's just, he's just one of my favorite characters all around. Uh, Billy Batson. You know, being a kid, being granted these powers by the great wizard Shazam of, of the gods. It's just, you know, what a trip. What kid didn't ever dream of having powers? So there we have it back. Um, we are taking a look at the back of the packaging. Very nice. Collect them all. You see the rest of the Justice League. We have Martian Manhunter and Green Arrow as well. You know, the add-ons. That's a pretty beefy team right there. Looking at those guys. Not to mention, you know, Hot Girl whenever they decide to show up with her. Shazam, and right here uh, we have some really nice little stats. It says measures approximately 6.75 inches tall. Uh, also based on the artwork created by Gary Frank, sculpted by Derek Miller. So taking credit for the figure. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and bust this figure open. This is Shazam. How's it going, guys? I'm so happy to be here with you. Can you believe that I get to do this and well, it makes me happy? Talk to you about figures. So, package, really nice open clear window. Uh, there is some obstructive packaging right there. Um, looking at it, yeah, there is some window that you cannot see, but overall, it's not bad. Looking at the insert, um, now I've already taken this figure out. It's just basic cardboard. And looking at taking the figure out, and then looking at you have the Justice League in the background, looking good. Good contrast. I like the colors that they pick uh, for doing stuff like that. So let's go ahead. And bring it on downtown, talking about Shazam. So, looking at this Shazam figure, um, you know what? I love it, but it's not, it's not perfect. So the hood comes pretty far over the head, and that's not just the lighting creating that shadow, it's the standing angle. So if I want him to be facing forward, I have to tilt him uh, considerably far back. Now this cape is really thick. This is a thick rubber cape. I mean, you can cut it off, but it ain't ever going back on. Uh, it's a really nice paint job for the most part. Um, it just doesn't, you know, to get it to stand up without being tilty, it's looking like this. And you can kind of see his face has the hood on. I wish the hood came down looking at the Billy Batson face. Not terrible, not an awful sculpt. Uh, there is head articulation, which is a little confusing considering the the hood is just so obstructive. And that's kind of a cheat. I guess this is the best I've ever been able to turn the head. And, you know, I can see back there that the rest of the hair is painted. I just don't know why we didn't get the the option to put the hood down. Now, this is the new 52 version, so looking at the shoes, if those don't look familiar, if you're like, wait a minute, I thought it was all gold. It was all gold, but now it is gold and white. So welcome to the new shoe Shazam. Looks really nice. Uh, the paint application there is good. 
strong calf muscle, looking at the knee, single jointed knee, uh, leg goes up about that far, this leg goes back about that far, so nothing entirely too dynamic. That's really basic. Let's pull this back, pull this forward. So that's what we're working with, kind of like a long leaping bound kind of run, which is really nice. Um, looking at the back of them, you can see that there's a second type of red paint applied. It's a more metallic red, which looks really nice. The gold on the belt looks really nice. You, sh you see, you she, there's Shazam marks. You see there's lightning bolts. Uh, and then looking at the chest, you see that this is the new New 52 chest with some of those brighter red accents. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera up just a little bit now that we're done looking at the feet. 6.75 inch figure, almost a seven inch figure. Not the tallest figure in the world, but you know, it's decently tall. Looking really good, that paint on the chest. Um, again, the leg articulation, look, this is really basic. If you had a Batman action figure in the 90s, that's what this is like. This is like the legs of a 90s Batman action figure with a knee joint. And you know what? Honestly, it's not that impressive, but it's articulated. The sculpt is really nice and the paint app is really good for the most part. Let's take a look at this. Um, now I know no one's ever gonna see this. Well, first there's a little bit of red right here. It's kind of hard to tell. It almost looks like it's just like light kind of bouncing off of the red. Really what's happening here, if we turn, how do we do this? If we turn the shoulder down, you see here, there's some patches where the paint didn't take and it rubbed off on the inside of the cape. There's actually a few patches where the paint rubbed right there. As you can see. So actually that's kind of a cool posing it like that. So I can have him like, oh. Not wires in the cape, but I'll take it. All right. So paint did get on the inside of the cape. Other than that, the cape looks really nice. This is definitely a new 52 version. Not at all like the original Shazam with a little half matador looking Christmas ornament cape. Um, looking at the torso articulation, there's none. Uh, this is one solid piece from the crotch all the way up to the neck until you get some head articulation. Now talking about the shoulders, again you have that nice, there's two different reds going on here. It looks really good. This is just a very well painted figure. You see that the lightning bolt on his chest has the black and the white. Just a, a modern take. You know, it was it was a gamble. They took it. I like it. I don't mind it. I like the two different versions of Shazam, and I, def I definitely recognize them as classic and New 52, because New 52 did a lot with the uniforms, but this, this is cool. I don't mind it so much. Uh, looking at the upper body articulation, uh, the arm does have some outward movement. It's on a ball joint, but it's just a very limited range. I don't think it's because of the cape. I just think... It's because of the size of the shoulder. Like looking at the back of it, just the shoulder is so big. You know, this figure was never meant to have incredible articulation. And I think I might be forcing it. So I don't wanna do that. Uh, looking at the bicep, we do have a bicep joint. It's a single jointed bicep and then we get hand swivel which is cool, as well as bicep swivel. So between ball joint in the arm, kinda, in the shoulder, um, bicep swivel, elbow joint, and wrist rotation. Yeah. Um, and then same thing on this arm. Pretty limited with the shoulder. It's just really weirdly shaped. Like it goes into the socket, you can tell it's shaped like a football. And then some bicep swivel, and then some wrist action. Uh, two different hands, again there's paint right there, which no one's ever going to see that. Literally they were like, no one's ever going to see this. Well guess what? I looked. 
um, and I found it. So this figure is beautiful. Just the, the paint application is gorgeous. This for a long time was the only Shazam I could ever get my hands on. And then uh, luck struck me like a lightning bolt. I got a package and in it uh, from some incredible members from the Facebook group. I got a package and inside of that package was a Shazam Funko Pop, which you've already seen the review on, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over anyways, cause just, I love me some Shazam. All right. So, uh, yeah. A little different than the original. Some updated paint. Uh, you can see here what I'm saying with the cape. It's like a half cape where it's only on one other. Sh it's it's only on this shoulder. It's not on this shoulder. There's no flower design on that side, and there's definitely okay. It's not a oops. It's not a flower design. It's just you know it's that. This is an original DC Funko Pop. I am so lucky to have this in my possession. One of my favorite superheroes ever. Shazam. Here on Roman Rose, Collectible Coliseum. So thank you, uh, little Shazam, for making an appearance. We're going to go ahead and get you out of here and let the man of the hour have his spotlight. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to go ahead and hashtag make it spin with Shazam. Let's go ahead and, and pose it up as much as we can. Maybe we can do like a reaching for the lightning type deal. There we go. Look at those ankles. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, DC Collectibles Justice League line Shazam. DC Icon Shazam was canceled. So this is what we get. Um, this is what we got. And then Mezco Shazam has started shipping. So that's actually really cool that people are getting their Mezco Shazams. Um, I can't wait till I receive mine. Hopefully I get mine tomorrow and I can bring you a Mezco Shazam review tomorrow. That would be so cool to go Shazam to Shazam on back to back days. Shazam. I, look, I can't say that word enough. Shazam I am. Uh, sometimes. And right now we are totally living it up Shazam style. Ah, love that word. Look, love this superhero. I like this figure. You know, if you pose it right, some people are gonna think it's just a really nice statue. And because of that, I wish it came with a stand. Anything, just any kind of like little landscape stand. Um, but that's not what happened. It didn't come with anything. Uh, this is literally the figure. So not bad. I really like this figure. Uh, it is in my display case right now. It's in there with Groot and Hulkbuster and Armored Batman, Mayfax, all the Mezcos, you know, Dragon Zord, Falcon Zord, Hulkbuster, just, and this goes along with it. I love me some Shazam here. Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum. Uh, again, like I said, got the Funko Pop. So blessed to have that from incredible members from the group. And then hopefully the Mezco will be here tomorrow. And uh, I'm so excited for the Mezco. You have no idea. Six inch. Hot toy, Shazam, ah, okay. So as always, peace, love, keep on collecting. Let's go ahead, hashtag make it spin for about another minute and then uh, I'll catch you guys next time, peace.